Is V.I.O. the right editing tool for you? In this video, I will review V.I.O. A video editing tool that is so simple that anyone can use it. But will it compare to today's standards and can you actually use this as your main video editing tool? Well, let me show you first what V.I.O. is. V.I.O. has this really simple layout. On the left hand side, you can see all of its features. You can see the settings. You can easily switch between like YouTube size, YouTube shorts. TikTok videos, like a square video, anything that you'd like. So this has all the preset that you need for any social media tool. Then you have the media tab where you can upload your files. You can record a video through feed itself. You can use the text to speech to create a AI generated text to speech. And you can also add stock videos, stock music and sound effects. There is a feature where you can automatically add subtitles. This will be AI generated subtitles, so you don't have to write them yourself. It will take the speech from you and it will put them into AI. With feed, it's really easy to add like a headline to even add like animated text in your videos. For example, you have like this speaker pop-up, you have this headline right here, and you can use all of this for your presentations, for your YouTube videos, for your social media videos, or anything that you meant on using this for. Another cool features are the AI avatars. The AI avatars are AI generated spokesperson that you can use as a presenter to present your videos. Besides this, you can also add some other elements like progress bars, sound waves, emojis, animated stickers, uh, GIFs, and more like that. So the timeline of feed is pretty similar to most video editing tools. You can see over here, we have a timeline where we have our video. On the bottom, we have one for audio. If you were to add sound effects or another audio, then the audio will appear on the bottom. You can also drag this to be more on top and you can add like elements like text, subtitles and more and it will appear in your timeline. With feed, you can easily add animations to your videos. For example, right here, I've added this drop animation where if I go on the video, it drops in and that looks pretty cool. You also have some great transitions that don't require any editing. You also have some great transitions that don't require any editing. You can simply just select the one that you want and you can drag it over and you can drop it in there. I've already done one right here. For example, this one. So that was a zoom in effect. I think that looks pretty cool and it is really, really easy to add. Another cool feature feed has is you can easily add filters. For example, on this video right here, I've added a portrait filter, which I think looks pretty cool. This is an example video. I've also added some subtitles on this. Seamlessly and edit this out. It has I can also for add stock footage, I have subtitles. to do minor editing to change the words if it made a mistake. If you don't really know how to clip your tool to cut out the mistakes and to remove blank spaces within in your speech then you can use the magic cut feature with just one click you can remove your mistakes you can remove filler words and this makes your video more engaging there are also some other cool ai features that it has which is like clean audio if you have a lot of background noise on your video then you can put it through the clean audio and now it will filter out that background noise so you have a clean audio. Besides this, Feed already has some pre-made templates so you can use them for your videos. For example, if you have a certain podcast that you want to have edited in a certain format, then you can use these templates to save yourself some time from editing. So in terms of pricing, how much does it cost? Well, you can get started for free. If you click the link in the description below, you can get started for free right away. If you want to have the watermark removed and you want to export in a higher setting, then I would highly suggest going with the Pro Plan. Pro Plan also allows you to use some of its AI features which come in very useful. It also allows you to get access to better quality stock footage and it gives you more storage size and unlimited video upload size which comes in very useful if you record a long video. So is Vidio actually worth it? Well I think yes if you're looking for a quick and easy video editor then Vidio is definitely the one for you. If you want more advanced videos then you should try to learn like Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro. However, these editing tools come at a hefty price point and it's also quite difficult to learn them. So if you want to create a video and you want to add in some elements, some transitions, some cool cuts, then you can use Feed.io. I would highly suggest upgrading to the Pro plan so you unlock all of these features and you will also remove the watermark. If you want to try it Feed.io for yourself, then check out this tutorial right here and I will see you in the next video.